I'm the hybrid, the hate change, so they try to push and fight it. I stay steady, yeah, I've always been defying. Up against the beast, yeah, I'm up against the giant. But now I'm gunning for their heads, and I will die with no regrets. This needs to come to an end, I'm seeing no end. And now the king is dead. Hey guys, Yuzong here. Today we're going to be talking about chapter 16, stage 6 of Twilight, and how I, uh, did the most damage that I could w onto it. For heroes, we're going to start off with Daniel. Daniel, we were using, uh, all hero gear with, uh, attack gloves, attack helmet, and damage reduction boots. We tried to aim for as much attack as we could, while also aiming for as much damage reduction as possible. We're going to be using him as the tank in the front uh, left side of the uh, formation, so that way he'll be taking damage from one of them. Skuer and Hetty, we just use all uh, hero gear with all attack on gloves, boots, and helmet. With Skuer, we're just aiming for as much health, attack, and defense as possible with Hetty, so we need as much attack as possible. Scooter is also EX30. Next up is Anpu. Anpu, we're using Surge and Hawkeye equipment. Uh, we're focusing on attack gloves, accuracy helmet, and attack boots as well. With our Guild Tech uh, buff, we have over 200 accuracy to try to get as much procs out of his uh, skills as possible. He's also EX30. Next we have Sorvale. She is running all uh, vigorous equipment with uh, damage reduction. Health on gloves and helmet and damage reduction boots. Uh, we gotta get that damage reduction up high because she's also gonna be a tank in the front row with uh, Daniel. She's my only EX20 that's gonna be in this group, but I'm sure you can do similar damage with EX20 on all characters, except for Mazrani to keep the healing up. He's using Abundant Gear with Vigorous. We're just aiming for as much health as possible to get as much healing as possible with him. Damage reduction helps too because he isn't going to have Ruler's Ring to keep his health up by mitigating the damage. Onto the formation, we got Daniel and Sorvale in the front, Mazrani in the center, Skuer and Hattie with Anpu in the rear. My Enlighten has plus two ult to Skuer and also to Daniel. We're using the Dominant Nucleus and Ruler's Ring with Flesh Point as our Divine Prototypes. My plan with the battle is to Whenever I'm using Skewer and Hattie's uh, ultimate, it's going to be in the center, and then I will use Mizrani's healing afterwards, like while they are in the center because of their spin attacks. That way I can heal both Skewer and Hattie at the same time, keeping their health as high as possible. With Anpu, um, using his ultimates in the beginning, uh, the first two, and then after that, we're going to start saving his ultimates for after they cast their big explosions. Which happens, one of them happens at 2.43, and then another one at about 2.33. And it progresses on for about, every about 10 seconds. For a secondary team, you could also use uh, Nordian and... The trick with Northian is just to, whenever you see them flip, that's when you're going to cast your ultimate. You might get lucky with your uh, his lightning barrier timers, and you might progress. I progressed until about uh, 1 minute and 38 seconds or 48 seconds, and that's when he died for me. But that was, I feel like that was luck because of when he would cast his uh, lightning barriers. It would keep him alive. I got 65,000 points in just one battle. This was my first battle uh, doing the 16-6 stage uh, for Twilight. Hope it helps out for uh, everyone for the next Twilight. Enjoy the rest of the battle, and if it helps you out in any way, 
please drop a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll continue to be uh, releasing a new content as new content releases. Thanks for joining us. Have a blessed day. Someone that you would want to call.